this is Jordan Jean One, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make the new circle star bracelet or charm. So I will show you what it looks like when it's in the shape of a star. So I think it has an interesting pattern to it. Now with the cap bands here I only doubled them and in the one I'm going to be doing today I'll triple them. But I think it would be cute for an ornament for a Christmas tree. Um, you could make it into like a snowflake pattern or just for a decoration. And then let me show you what it looks like as a bracelet. So here's what it looks like as a bracelet. So all I did is just unconnect where I had put them together in the center and on the edge. So it makes this cool circle ball design. Again, I think it looks like it could maybe be like ball ornaments or really anything. So I'm going to be using the rainbow loom to show you how to do this today. And I have the pins set up so they are in line with one another. And I have the blue connector pieces spread apart from one another. Just so I have room for it to grow down in between the pins. And for my colors today, I have white, red, and blue. And I have 38 of the white. And then I have 20 red and 40 blue. I'm going to start with the color that I want for the center and the edges. So it's going to be white. It's going to go to the fifth pin up on the right side of the loom. And it's going to go into the center and I want to twist this and now I'm going to take a blue rubber band and this is going from that fifth pin down to the fourth and I don't need to twist anymore and now I'll take red and that's just going to go down towards me and then finally I want to take another white band and this is the one that I am going to triple. So I'm going to place it on my hook, twist, put it back on, twist, and put it back on. So you'll see the three rubber bands on there. And this is going to go right on the top. Now if you find that your rubber bands are rather tight and you're having a hard time doing this, you can just double this. And now I'm going to repeat the same pattern, but I'm going to work my way up in the center row. So from this pin here, I'm going to put a blue band going up, and then a red one. And now in the center here, I'm going to put that tripled band. It's going to be white. Just put it right on the top there. And now what I want to do is reach down through the cap band and loop these bands in towards the center. So from the bottom here, I'm just going down through and pushing back. And I'll just loop these moving forward. And now from the top, I'm coming down. And these are going to be a little bit more tricky because the band is actually wrapped around the back of the pin. So I'm just going to go down through and I'm going to have to move my hook more out to the side. And now I can just grab it and work my way down. And then the same thing again, push out to the side, hook it and move down. Now I'm going to place another white band in the middle here and it doesn't have to twist anymore. And now I'm going to take the blue bands on the right side here, grab them both, and pull them into the center, and then also remove the bottom white. And I'll do the same thing for the other side, grabbing these two blue, moving them into the middle, and then the bottom white. Push that down. And now what I want to do is take another blue band and loop it through this red. So what I'm going to do is take my hook and I'm going to grab the red bands from the right hand side. I'm just going to slide them off into the middle. 
I'm going to leave my hook through them. Now I'll take a blue band and put it on. And now I can take my hook and slide these red bands back on that pin. And now I want to loop the blue. I'm going to do that same procedure for the other side here. So I'm going to take the red bands, the two red bands from the outside, from the left hand side, slide it over top of this pin. I'm going to leave my hook in there so I know where I need it to stay. Hook the blue, and now slide this back on, and now I'm able to reach in, grab it from the side, and loop this blue. Push this down, and now I need another white band in the center here. And now again, I'm going to remove the blue and the bottom white. And then I'm also going to release the red bands from this pin. Go on the opposite side and repeat that. So I have the blue, the white, and then I'm going to release the red. I'm going to push this down. Next, I want to add another blue and red, but this cap band is going to be in the way of where I want to place the rubber band on this pin. So what I'm going to do is take my hook, reach down inside, and grab this cap band. Just pull it off going to just leave it on my hook here. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to take a blue band from the center and move outward. And then I'm going to take a red band and move that one down here. And now I'm able to take this cap band and slide it back on. So you just want to make sure as you're taking it off and putting it back on that it's staying in that same position which is why I'm telling you to leave it on your hook because I find it easier that way. If you let it slip off of your hook, it's not going to come apart, but it might be a little bit trickier to get it back on the pin in the right order. You don't want to have it twisted or it's not going to work. So now I can do the looping for this. So I'm just reaching down through here, pushing back, and now I can just move these bands forward. Now the same thing with the blue here. And now I'm going to repeat that pattern on the other side. So I'm just going to take this cap band, get my hook down through and release it. Then I'm just going to leave it here going to add the blue band from the center. You're always working from the center outward. And now a red. And now I can take this cap band and slide it right back on. And now I want to do the looping for that. It's coming in towards the center. And now I need another white band that's going to hold this together in the middle. And now I'll take the blue bands off, the two blue and the one white at the bottom. And the same thing again on the other side. And now, one more time, I want to get another blue band to hook through this red band on the top and bottom. So I'll work on the bottom here. From the outside, the right side, I'm releasing the red bands. Now I'm going to add a blue. And I'm going to slide this back on and loop. And at the top here, I'm releasing it from the outside, the left side. Getting a blue. Sliding this back on, and then looping. Okay. 
And the last thing I want to do is take a white band, get that in the center, and then release. I'm going to do one more white band. This is just going to space out these circles just a little bit. Then I want to loop the bottom. And so now I'm done with this circle so I can remove all of these bands except for the middle here. So I'm just going to take off the cap band and then the next one. Same thing on the other side here. And then it's just going to grow out through the bottom here in between the pins. So you can just push that down. And now we're just going to repeat that same process all over again. I know it's a little bit tricky with the taking the bands off and leaving them on your hook so you can put the next one. But I think after you do a few, you'll get the hang of it. So let me just show you this one more time. So I'm always working from the center row out. So coming down on the right hand row, I'm doing the blue and then the red. I'm gonna go a little bit faster for this one. And then from the top, I'm going up in the center row. Now I wanna place that tripled cap band on the two ends. Again, if you feel like this is really tight, you can just double it. And now I'm going to loop from the bottom here. And now from the top, I'm coming down. Push that down, and now I'm going to add the white band in the middle, and now I'm going to release the two blue. You can see that this one blue got below the white, but that's okay. So I'm grabbing the two blue and then the white. Do the same thing over here. Push down. And now's the step where I want to add another blue band that's going to hook through this red one. So I'm grabbing from the outside here, leaving that on my hook, get the blue, and then slide this right back on, and then loop. Same thing from the top here. Taking it from the outside, from the left hand side, just getting it out of the way here, putting on the blue. Sorry, my loom's going crazy here. Slide this back on, and now loop it down. And we're doing another white. Now this time I can release the reds because I'm only hooking two blue through each of the reds. So I'm releasing those as well. And now I want to add a new red and blue. So I need to get this cap band off. So I'm just reaching my hook down through and sliding this off. Now I can add my blue. Always doing the blue first and then the red. Sorry if my hands are in the way. Slide that back on and now I can do the looping.
going to do the same thing for the top here. So I'll just reach down through this cap band and remove it. Now I'm doing blue and then red. Get the cap band to go back on. You want to make sure when you're putting it back on that you're getting all of the bands to go back on it. If your cap band is tripled, make sure all three bands make it around. If it's doubled, then it will just be two. Now I have a white and remove the bottom. And now I have one more blue band. I want to go through these red bands. So from the outside, I'm just sliding this off and back on and loop. Same thing here from the top. I'm getting it from the outside, moving it towards the middle, getting the bl blue band. It's going back on. And now I want to loop. And now finally I need the white. And remove everything that's underneath here, the blue first and then the white. And then I'm going to add that one extra white band that's going to go in between the circles. Just space it out just a tiny bit. And then I'm able to remove all of these other rubber bands from the outer pins. And then I can pull this down through. So you can see the shape here. You can see the circles or the balls. So I would just continue on in the same pattern. I'm going to make five of them in total. And then I will show you how to remove it from the loom and then how to put it together if you want to make it into a star. Once you've completed your five circles and you're ready to take the bracelet off of the loom, you should have just this one single white band that's connected to the two pins in the middle. So I'm just going to pick up the one side on the right, leave that on my hook, and then pick up the other band. So I have the two on my hook. Just going to carefully pull this out and you can see the shape here and if you wanted to make this into a bracelet you would just take a c-clip and hook the one side through and then go to the other side and pick up the two bands on the end here and you could just hook that through the other side of the clip and then your bracelet would be complete. And you might have to adjust the bands a little bit to make it a nice circular shape. Get these end bands to be nice and even here. Now, if you wanted to make this into the star that I showed you at the beginning, what you would wanna do is, just unhook this, you want to take your hook and you're going to start out on one of the cap bands on one of the sides. So I'll start here on the right. I'm going to get my hook to go through here. And I did triple this, so it is going to be pretty tight. If you doubled this band, it won't be quite as tight. And now I'm just going to take the next cap band that's on the same side. They're all going to be on the right. And I'm just going to go from the back through to the front, get it through all three of those bands, and then move down to the next one, do the same thing. I'm always going that same direction from the back through to the front. Go to the next one. And get my hook to go through. Make sure it's going through all three if it's tripled, or two if it's doubled. And then here's the last one. 
slide that through. Now I'm going to take another white band and I just want to very carefully I'm going to keep hold of it. Actually, I think I'll stick my finger through it just so it doesn't come apart. And I'm just going to slide this through all of these cap ends that are on my hook. It's going to be pretty tight. I'm going to place this end that's in my finger back on here. So now I'll have two bands on my hook. I'm going to take another white band, slide it through these two bands, and get that back on that's in my fingers here. And I'm going to make a slip knot by pulling the band that's closest to the end of the hook through the other one. I'm going to pull that nice and tight to make a really tight slip knot. And now I have this loop that's hanging, so what I'm going to do is just go through the center here. I'm going to reach through some of these cap bands and just pull this hook, excuse me, loop, pull the loop through. And I'll just go around in the circle and just continue to pull that loop through. until it gets totally hidden in the middle. And now I want to take where this clip is. I'm going to remove the clip. And I'm actually going to take off this one white band. This was the one that would be the in-between band, in between the um, circles. So I'm just going to remove that going to take my hook and pick up these two bands and now I want to also hook through this very first band that we did it's going to look like an X on the end because it's the one that we twisted I'm going to take this last white band and slide it through then I'm going to put it back on my hook and pull one end through the other and make that nice and tight make a slip knot there and if you don't like this loop hanging, you can just go through and hide it like we did in the middle. Or you can leave it there if you want to for hanging. And then there you have your star. Or it could be a flower or a snowflake or whatever you'd like it to be. But I think it's a pretty unique design and I like how you can use it either as a bracelet like this or turn it into a star like that. I hope that everyone likes this new circle star bracelet or charm as much as I do. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations on my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!